Digital Trade YouTube channel. On this channel, I talk about SaaS product reviews and tutorials, online money making, internet marketing, and technology. So, if you're interested in any of this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Uh, so, talking about this particular video, in this video, I'll be talking about a SaaS product called Tango. Uh, now, what Tango does is uh, it helps you create documentation, step by step documentation of how a particular thing works. So, we know that now SaaS products are everywhere, they are in the office. They are in our day to day life everywhere. So sometimes what happens is we want to show some someone uh, how something works, right? So now I'm showing you how Tango works. So how, what are the steps uh, that I will take uh, and what are the steps that are going to be taken to uh, achieve certain results? Suppose for example, like I'm sending an email. So to send an email using Gmail, what are the steps I'm going to take? So I'm just going to visit email gmail.com then I'm going to click on compose section compose email then I'm going to write in my subject line my email body and then I'm, then I'm going to click on the send button right so this step I took for gmail now there are different software SaaS products so how they work so this if you are interested in then tango is for you so you can show step by step how a particular thing works now you do not have to do anything just you have to download the chrome extension and that chrome extension is going to do all the work for you it is going to take the screenshot of your workflow as you navigate through the website of uh, it going to take the screenshot is going to edit the main important titles uh, description links etc so now without now i told you but now let's see the product how the product works in action okay so now we are on the website of tango.us uh, so this whole uh, software works on one thing and that is chrome extension so you do there is no login area or something special that you can do uh, everything works based on this extension so the first step is to download this extension uh, once you are done with that uh, i will talk about some pricing plan uh, so the pricing plan like it's always free so if you are an individual or small teams it's basically free but with free version there are some limitations that is, there will be a logo watermark of tango so that you have to deal with but if you don't want that uh, logo or, uh, or or if you want to include your custom logo of your company and don't want water watermark then you can go for their pro or un, uh, enterprise plan okay so yeah that's how it is uh, so now let me uh, come to the input so this is how the once once you log in this is how you, you will see so basically what you have to do is once you download the Chrome extension make sure of Tango so this is the Tango Chrome extension uh, make sure you pin it right so you just have to click on it and pin over here uh, so because you will have an easy access to it now you know that Tango is basically a documentation step by step documentation tool so with that what you can do is uh, show all the steps that you took to achieve something uh, suppose you are teaching the software you can teach it a step by step so to give you a simplest of example I'm going to teach you how to send an email uh, so so it will be generalized so anyone can understand it so how suppose i want to teach someone how to send a, a email using gmail so how you do that uh, what are the steps you took so i'll explain it now you can exp uh, explain any complex software uh, the steps will remain the same the basic will remain the same so now let us uh, do that so now the first step is i will go to the gmail.com Now, once I am on here, uh, what I will do is uh, I will click on this extension. So th from here, I want all things to get recorded. So I will click over here. So uh, what you have to do is basically once you are here, I will just click on the extension and this is where you have to click. Uh, then it will start recording all your steps, right? So I'll just click on here. Uh, as you can see, the capture has been started. So these are the navigations. Basically, let me show you again. Uh, I mistakenly so once i click on the extension uh it will start capturing uh these are the navigation so once you click on it it will complete uh this is the pause button uh this is the restart button uh this is a pro version in the pro it is available feature suppose you are showing some sensitive information like password etc or some api keys then you want to blur that part right so you can do that in the pro version uh you can move this left right whatever so now let's get started suppose the first step that i will take uh, to send an email is what open gmail.com 
the second step is uh, compose an email so you can see this is getting tracked so as i am hovering over here compose it will capture this all right all the steps will get captured so i'll uh, click on this so you can see uh, this one you can see the number will change or has the capturing will start one two three four right now right now there are two images that are captured now what i will do to send email uh, i will type in the uh, persons uh, to whom i want to send so i will type the email id i will type in by our part in at the red email.com i will type in the email id of the person what is the second step that i will take i will type the subject name testing tango 1.1 i will then i will type my email body hello why rp and testing tango etc so my email is ready now what i will do i will click on send button uh, so i will do that so email has been sent to the person so these are the three four steps that i took as you can see they all the cap emails are captured over here uh, and now well, once you are done with uh, showing what you want to your users what you have to do is just click on this button uh, complete so as you can see the workflow has been created by me so this is the workflow i took the first step i uh, so all i can customize this uh, as per my requirement i can change the screenshot if i don't like if i can change the title i can add some description i can add some link uh, let me show you how the customization works okay uh, suppose this is the workflow that is created by uh, what do you say tango so you can see all the steps are mentioned all the headings is given now obviously there will be not the software is not perfect you can customize or you can change the things right suppose the title i want to keep uh, right right so i am teaching what how to send emails how to send email using gmail so this is what i am teaching now you can teach anything you want or you can show anything you want so the title you can type of that um here you can type a short description of what this workflow is all about so this is i will type in hello suppose these are my com company employees i am teaching hello employees this is a workflow where i teach how to send an email using gmail etc etc what you can write the first step that i took what what so you can do that so go to inbox it says but i can write uh, like go to gmail.com so you can write in the description that you want right so i will type in like anything visit gmail.website page um i will type in the link so i will type in the link of the website so you can just customize as per your requirement i will type in gmail.com uh, so yeah that's how the first page is created now the second step will be i will compose an email so i'll type in click on compose yeah it is right so you can write a description right uh, you need to compose an email so you can type in anything i'm just showing you so hope you got the idea the picture is directly uh, copied or took the screenshot is taken by the software itself so when i when i hover over the compose section so these are the options that i would like to show you um, zoom out means the image will become a bit bigger in size but if you want to focus particularly on this section then you can click on zoom in as much you want uh, you can edit the content or edit the image basically so here you have annotation uh, in annotation what you can do is suppose you want to show something to the user right suppose i want to mark my arrow over here on this section so i'll just i can do that i can change the color i can do all those things right from here i can change the color of black yellow depending on my requirement i can choose the shape suppose i want to select this i want to show this i can just select this um i can uh, choose the color fill fill the color or just uh, you know you can do all this shape and ellipse is that uh, shape you can type in the text right suppose you want to type in right suppose something you want to type in you can type compose email so you can type in like this 
uh, so it's up to you. Uh, so this is what you can do over here in annotate. In the blur, what you do is basically suppose you don't want to show your personal email. So you can just uh, hide all these emails by doing blur or doing a blur on this section, right? Uh, so just add, now you can just uh, save the image. So that's the thing you can do in the image section. As you can see, we did it. Uh, you can also zoom in if you want. Uh, so yeah, that's the second step. Now third step will be like what? Um, I uh, selected, I uh, write or uh, type the email of the person, right? Type the email of the person. Description I don't think is needed every time. I'm just showing you a uh, link to the page if it is there is Gmail. So it's remaining constant over here. But if you want anything special, uh, web page link is there. You can uh, here you can type in like type email object line. This is just a simple software I'm showing you because uh, understanding is very important, right? If you don't understand basics, then you will not be able to do complex things, right? Uh, so yeah, that's how you can do. Now in the like I type type in subject line subject uh, email body. Uh, so yeah, that's how it is. Uh, I will send like click on send button. Yeah, that's it. So we are done with it. Uh, so what you have to do basically is now you can see in the right hand side all the important titles are edited. So you know what the steps we took. All you have to do is now share and export this with your colleagues. Uh, now there are different options. You can type in their email and you can directly share or you can click on magic copy. Uh, what is magic copy? Let me show you. Okay, so let me show you the uh, where it is uh, magic what is what do you call it? uh magic copy so basically what is magic copy so suppose you are using google document and you want all this workflow to be posted on there or you are using notion or Confl uh, confluence that supposed uh, supports html so what i will do is just copy this clipboard uh, and i will just go to my google document suppose uh, and i'll just paste over here so once i paste you see all the how to send email using gmail uh, hello employee this is a workflow where I teach how to send an email so all these things are just copied uh, copied into the uh, nice uh, nice way into your google documents uh, so that is how the magic uh, copy works uh, or you can also uh, get a link and just share this link with your partners and they can directly view your workflow in the download section you can download the file as a pdf version or uh, let me show you uh, let me open it you can see this is a nicely formed pdf version of our workflow we got how to send email using basically you get this logo of tango so you can watermark of tango you can remove that in the pro version you can see uh, step by step we can uh, sh uh, share our workflow with our colleagues uh, you, uh, yeah so that's how the pdf works and what is embed by the way so suppose you are having a website and you want your workflow to be on that website you can just copy this embed code and just paste it over there so the difference between magic copy and embed is that the magic copy with magic copy you uh, pasted this into your google document right uh, but what happened here is any changes that you made in the workflow right suppose i come over here and i change the uh change something over here right type the email of the person i change something over here and then it will not get reflected in your google document right but if you use uh, embed and you copy this paste so wherever this co uh, code is copied and the display displayed uh, any changes you make uh, in the tango uh, dashboard uh, it, that will get reflected directly to your website or anything so you can just copy this paste into your website into the like html code or like embed section of your website or anything like uh, any favorite tool you can embed this code right uh, so yeah that's how everything i explained to you right anything else let me see yeah as you can show i already told you right the pro version you get the logo and uh, you can also screenshot highlight you basically change the color of the screenshot highlight so they are not that important features uh, right so yeah you are not restricted to using important features of this uh, software in the free version uh, so yeah that's how uh, so that's let me conclude the video uh, so that's the tango 
uh, tutorial. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel now. Also, uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.